Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 8th and the 15th of June 2019. This is where I talk about celestial transits that affect us all, all zodiac signs. So how is the sky treating you? Well, we are heading towards a warmer, more feisty, combative time towards the middle of the month as we draw into the opposition between Mars and Saturn on the nodes and later on Mars and Pluto next week. So this is a very intense time both in our personal lives and in the grand scheme of things and since Mercury is involved in that mix as well uh, cornering, uh, uh, taking the corner off uh, Mars on the North Node there could be a lot of opinions coming out. There could be a lot of rhetoric. Warm, hot, burning rhetoric. And a lot of judgment on the other side. Things can flare up. Drama can rise in our lives. And we really need to pay attention to all of those energies and harness them into something constructive and transformative and positive, both for us and in the public uh, grand scheme of things as I said before so do not expect this to be a tranquil stable time but expect you to go on a struggle on a road that is important for you to further your ambitions to further your um, beliefs and and to actually conquer a place in this world for whatever it is that you believe in Remembering that, remember to fight honorably. Remember that it is not about laying down the sword, but it is about sparing the life. It is about honoring life in general and differences of opinion in general. Remember and remind yourself who you are on this globe. If you believe it's a globe, some people believe it's flat now. <coughs> Again, <coughs> Pos posturous. Anyway. So which camp do you belong to? And this is something I've been saying and I keep on saying, I keep on shouting it. There are only two groups of people in this world. A group that understands that this is a round world and that we're all different, that we should live and let live and that nobody has a dominion over the truth. And there's one group that believes that their truth is the only truth and that everybody else should abide and live according to their truth. So which group are you in? This is the most important time to be alive. This is no mistake that you are alive. You are the hero you've been waiting for. You are the main actor in your own scenario. How are you going to play from now on? What are you going to write down? What is the next chapter? Who are you going to be for this world, not only for yourself? Until the drops of the ocean sweeten, will the ocean remain ever salty? Remember that. Don't hope for a messiah or a savior. Be that savior for yourself in your life. So challenging, challenging to be our own saviors. Challenging, we really want some comfort. We really want somebody to just cuddle up in, her, in his arms or in her arms and say, it's okay. I'll take care of things. Rest. It's safe. It's silent. But no, no time like that in sight. You know, we are in very transformative few years and a lot of people are suffering because of that. A lot of people are feeling challenged because of it. The world is changing at a faster rate than we could ever accumulate ourselves to emotionally. So, we had to ride this wave with a stupid smile on our face. Like, I don't know where this is going, but I'm having fun. Or we tumble dry in it for a while until it spits out out on, on some unknown beach. Be flexible. Be the reed, not the oak. In these times. So, as we head in this Saturday the 8th, wonderful time to be creative. Moon is in Leo, sextiling the sun. A wonderful time to create, enjoy, open up your mind to spirit and inspiration and go out to nature as the moon is also trying Jupiter. Sunday the 9th, uh, Madame Venus is going into the sign of Gemini and we can all become 
much more. Uh, you know, uh, some say the biggest sex organ is the brain. In this case it is. When Venus is in Gemini, we start thinking about satisfaction. We start thinking about love. We start thinking about how to gain more value and money in our life. And these subjects, first of all, come up to our mind. And then we need some more excitement and insemination intelligent insemination into those subjects so we require greater variety and more experiences we become more flutterious and 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 we want to um quench our curiosity so to speak we can be indecisive or go several ways in in one time classic time for infidelity classic <laughs> classic time for looking for a new job or something and just looking at what's and the market right now you know this is the kind of thing that Venus in Gemini is bringing up with hey I'm back in the meat market you know I'm back in modern society what's trending Venus in its own nature is about things that are classic you know she doesn't give a damn about trends whatever was beautiful is beautiful and will be ever beautiful you know if it wasn't and it isn't it wasn't ever beautiful in the first place it was just trendy so she doesn't give much of appreciation to trends because they're passing but in Gemini she listens to that flowing current all the time it excites her and we can all become more communicative and, and, and popular in these times need more people around us in a sense to gain greater satisfaction but it is also a confusing time as Monday already the 10th we have a grand mutable square in the sky between the sun squaring the moon squaring uh, uh, Neptune and Jupiter so this is a time that we have to first of all be careful and whenever Jupiter is in opposition to the sun not to be too big not to be too, too extravagant not to um, you know um, go all out over the top over overshoot our target so to speak not to try and prove ourselves too much you know and not to be too nonchalant about things not to be too direct about things to understand that there's a code of conduct that needs to be taken into account. That we can't be as free, as direct, as we would have wanted to be. First thing. Second, don't lure into illusions. Jupiter Neptune. Don't believe things that are not practical or too big or too rainbowy right now. Okay? And don't make other people believe things like that as well. Stay practical yourselves. And if you do, this is a time that you can harness this inspiration, this time of optimism and actually create things that are amazing, full of light, full of inspiration, both for yourself and others. And a lot of understandings coming through on this time. Tuesday, we have the moon op opposition, Chiron, sensitive again. Good day to draw closer into your primary relationships and friends and feel the pain together feel the sensitivity together provide a healing wednesday is the height of the sensitive time of this week it's coming down on thursday but we have a t-square between mars and and and, and uh, mercury on the one hand on the north node and on the south node pluto and uh, and saturn t-squaring the moon so this is really a challenging time emotionally we, we could be too judgmental we could be too dramatic we could, our rhetoric, as I said in the beginning of the video, can flare up. We have to be careful from these energies. And if we feel them coming to us at our lives, put a bucket of water and start laughing because I talked to you about it beforehand. Okay? Put your ego out of the way. Don't even let that in the room. You know? And if you need to defend yourself, defend yourself. You know, I live in a bad neighborhood. I mean, generally, Israel is in a bad neighborhood. You know? And so... Whenever I go out, I have to be vigilant that I don't get stabbed. <laughs> you know, uh, if I go to places that are, you know, a bit on the outskirts, not the mainstream places, places I like to travel in. I don't like the, the beaten path, as you can imagine. Um, so, Thursday, as I promised, there is a culmination of energies that really provides us with a sense that we're over the, the hurdle. That this week has passed, 
that we can start breathing again, letting loose. And it's a wonderful time to start doing that and understand that you actually did conquer something, that you actually did deal with something. There's a kite formation in the sky. Um, Saturn, Mars, Neptune, Moon. Uh, coming in in the morning in the States and afternoon Europe time, late night time in, uh, um, in the Pacific. And it's really a time that we could see that our efforts were not in vain. That we could put the points together. That we can understand that maybe we were guided or protected along the way. And Friday is a really optimistic day. If we are not taking into account that this is also the day of the exact opposition between Mars and Saturn. That in itself is hard throughout the week and throughout the next days as well and could be the culmination of this kind of opposition, feeling that maybe we're checked again if we're doing it right, if we're doing it good enough, maturely enough. If, we've, if this project, initiative, action, need, essence is truly standing up to reality, is it facing the practical needs of reality and still standing its ground? So it could be a time of a bit of a struggle or a halt. We can feel we're stopped, but patience is required, patience is required, and as I said, letting loose, draw the energy out, let it go, free yourself, let loose. <coughs> it's a great day to be creative in, it's a great day to utilize physical activity of any sort, or artistic activity to channel those energies. Saturday I'm ambivalent about, it's good for things that are concerning spirit and inspiration and going out to nature but a bit of frustration throughout the day maybe not just as quite as wonderful as we would like it to be not as quite as wonderful as this saturday can be so enjoy it go out and just be creative give your presence to your life give your light and thrive live long prosper thank you for listening I'm reminding you that there's an advanced group that wants to continue in English and is still looking for a person to join. Uh, you can contact me if you want. And thank you for sharing these videos and commenting on them. May we all live long and prosper. Bye-bye.